Hey everybody, Greg here. We are at Sherman Falls today. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, you'll know where Sherman Falls is. Just look for that. But the reason we're here today is something completely different. We're doing a waterfall illumination, and it's gonna be pretty spectacular. We've got like 42 lights, LED lights, battery pack. We're placing them around the falls right now, and then we're gonna light it up. And I'm gonna go talk to the guy that organizes this. Uh, he runs the City of Waterfalls, which is Hamilton, Ontario. His name is Jay. We're gonna to talk to him in just a few minutes to find out exactly what's going on, why he's doing it, and uh, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so hang on, and we'll be uh, with Jay in a second. So we're here with Jay. He runs the City of Waterfalls website, which is basically a website uh, showing off all the waterfalls in Hamilton. There's how many? Uh, 156, approximately, by the unofficial count. The unofficial count, 156, good. So what are we doing here? We're lighting up the waterfalls. Yep. Tell um, me about the process and all that. The process. First off, we got a whole bunch of battery powered lights. Um, we have about 70 lights in total. Tonight we brought 42, um, which is enough for Sherman. It's not a huge waterfall. Um, the idea behind it is just to get people out. It's something different. It looks kind of cool. That's the only reason I'm really involved was, hey, this is something different. Let's light the waterfalls. Uh, it gets people interested in their waterfalls. Now, I know sometimes there's purposes behind it as well. There is. Some nights we do. Um, tonight's just a, hey, we haven't done one in a while. The weather's been kind of cold or wet. So tonight was a, hey, the weather's good. Let's get in here and do it for everybody. Um, but there are times we'll do stuff for be it a, a cancer thing or a CMHC. It just depends what someone someone asks me and we can have the time, we'll do it. And so, for instance, some of these, uh, when you do these things, for instance, is it cancer that you use? specific color? Colors based on, if someone's got their little ribbons, be a yellow ribbon or a pink ribbon, um, we'll bring the same color lights to that, uh, just to stand the theme of, of what they're trying to do. And of course, Canada Day would be red and white. Canada Day we were on stage, white. we'd use red, white, and blue. Yep. Uh, yep. And tonight, we're just doing it for fun. We got said, 42 lights. 42 lights, we got uh, pink, purple, and a yellow, orange color. Kind of a Easter theme a little bit, um, but more of a, hey, spring's coming. The green isn't here yet. So no green lights yet, but next time. Okay, and how long do you plan to be here? How long are you going to... The, the batteries last about an hour. So we're usually here, the lights are off about an hour. Um, right after sunset, it usually takes about 20 minutes to get dark, the lights come on. Set up, take down, that's probably a good four or five hours worth of work. And where can people see these after it's done or before it's done? Where can people get notified? Uh, the best place is our Facebook page. Hamilton Waterfall Capital of the World is where everything will hit first. Um, I try to put stuff onto our website at cityofwaterfalls.ca. I also try to put stuff at our Twitter page at uh, City of Waterfalls. All right, Jay, I know you're busy. I'm going to let you go. And we're going to be back with the waterfall illumination when it happens in about how long from now? Uh, 25 minutes, I about guess. 25 minutes. The sun will be down. It'll be dark. And we'll have these falls lit up. So we'll be right back. Okay, so what they're doing right now is just turning the lights on. They haven't focused them all on the waterfall yet. They do that after they have them on, and then we'll see the full light up. You can see them focusing the, 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 the color on the falls right now.